Hello and welcome to the Flourishing Center podcast. I'm Amelia Zivotovskaya, your host and founder of the Flourishing Center. We are training the change agents of the world and equipping them with research-based tools for healthy, happy, and successful living. And we're so grateful that you're here. This is your Flourishing Friday, where every Friday we bring you a positive psychology-based life hack that will help you to thrive. We look at real-life application of positive psychology while giving you different strategies, tips, and steps to put the science into practice. Thanks for listening, and let's dive in. Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Flourishing Fridays. Today's tip is going to be about how you can get healthier while you sleep. Yep, you heard me during the time that you were just laying there sleeping. What if you could do a single thing that would improve your energy, your vitality, your immune system, your mood, and your ability to focus? That's what I'm going to introduce you to today. But I'm going to warn you, it's a little bit out there. And I'm going to invite you to just trust me and keep an open mind as we look at the science behind it. Because my health tip for you about how you can enhance the quality of your well-being while you sleep is going to be to tape your mouth shut while you're sleeping. I mean, literally, take a piece of tape and put it on your mouth and force yourself to breathe through your nose. Nostril breathing is something that I have been teaching for over a decade to all of my students and my clients, especially my clients that come in who suffer from anxiety. What I've learned over the years in my study in mind-body medicine and yoga is that when we breathe through our mouth, we are doing our disservice to our body. Our mouth is meant to be a backup system to help us breathe. In case something happens, like our nose is stuffed, we need to breathe. It's important. It's something that we can't go for minutes without. And so nature gave us a backup system. However, when we breathe through our mouth, we tend to have have shallower breaths, our breathing is colder, it's less filtered, it's dirtier because the nostril hairs filter our air as they bring it as it goes into the body. And mouth breathing has been associated with stress. More and more researchers are identifying that even when people breathe through their nose during the day, if they're breathing through their mouth, they actually may be diminishing the quality of their sleep. Ideally, we would spend most of our time, with the exception of running uphill where you might need to pant just to get that breath in, we want to breathe through our nose. And Mark Berhein, a dentist and researcher, says that nasal breathing increases nitric oxide production in the sinuses, which has been linked to reduced inflammation, improved sleep, improved memory, and an overall increase in our immune system function. And while we can maintain our nostril breathing throughout the day, if we find ourselves breathing through our mouth throughout the night, you're going to wake up with more dry mouth, with the likelihood of a sore throat, and you would have spent eight hours laying in bed breathing in a way that was less healthy. A study published in 2013 in the journal NeuroReport found that mouth breathing alone could lead people to higher blood pressure, heart problems, and sleep apnea. Another doctor, Stephen Y. Park, an ENT specialist in New York City and an author of Sleep Interrupted, said that the more we can break through breathing through our mouth, the more we can decrease our stress response. He argues that people who sleep with their mouth breathing are actually stressing their body throughout the night, which actually reduces the quality of their sleep. This also can wreak havoc on even things like our oral microbiome. They state that people who breathe through their mouth while they sleep are more likely to get different types of bacteria that are less healthy within their mouth, hence they wake up with bad breath or an unpleasant taste in their mouth. And if that wasn't convincing enough, check out this one. Dr. Burheen says that breathing through your mouth is actually the number one cause of cavities, more than eating sugar and not brushing your teeth because of the way that it impacts the bacteria in your mouth. 
Mouth taping has its origins in something called the Buteyko Method. The Buteyko Method was created by Russian doctor Konstantin Pavlovich Buteyko, who has been studying and teaching people the art and science of breathing properly for everything from overall well-being to high-performance athletes. He was the first to start suggesting to people that they should tape their mouth shut as a way of enhancing breathing through their nose throughout the night. So while it might seem a little bit out there, know that many people all over the world are actually using this. And what they're finding is that they wake up more rested. That means that they're stressing less throughout the night. Many people will find themselves not waking up in the middle of the night. For example, if you're somebody who wakes up in the middle of the night and feels like you have to pee, you might think that the reason that that's happening is because you are drinking too much water before you go to bed. That's actually not true. Our bladder usually should be able to hold our water no problem unless you're suffering a prostate problem or there's some other medical condition. Oftentimes, the reason that people actually wake up needing to go to the bathroom is that they're not getting themselves into deep stages of sleep when they're actually sleeping. And so when they are are just in a light sleep, the body is more likely to say, we're not that deep into our sleep anyway, so might as well get up and go to the bathroom. When we get that deep sleep, we feel more rested, we feel more clear-headed. Our body is able to take good care of us and use sleep for what it's intended to, which is to be a rinse cycle for our body and for our mind, prepare us to be healthier. So it's a simple little thing, but can make a powerful impact. You can search the web for mouth tape, which is actually pieces of tape that fit perfectly over your mouth that are meant to not leave a residue when you take them off in the morning. Or you could explore surgical tape with a little bit of Vaseline, but I encourage you to give it a go. Thanks for tuning in for today's Flourishing Friday episode. As always, feel free to stay in touch and let us know, did you try this technique and how did it impact you? I would recommend trying it for a week and then letting us know what differences you see. And as always, if there's an area of your life that you would like a life hack for, send us a message at podcast at theflourishingcenter.com. Thanks for listening and tune in again soon. This episode is brought to you by the 5 Eye Change Agent Quiz. Our research shows that there are five personality types for people that love to help others. Take this short 20 item test to find out which type you are and download your free roadmap to learn about the obstacles your change agent type faces and how to overcome them. Learn more at theflourishingcenter.com forward slash change agent. Thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. I want to encourage you to tell us what would you love to hear more about? Is there an area of positive psychology you'd love to get some more information on in terms of the research? Give us a shout out at info at theflourishingcenter.com. Thank you so much for listening and I wish you a wonderful flourishing day. Mm -hmm.